everyone. Welcome to Remote STEM class. It's Mr. Dowd here. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. It's hump day. Yeah. So let's see if we look at the schedule here. So it's going to post on the 9th. So yeah. So we have one week. So we're already halfway done this week. And then we have a full week next week. And then a partial week next week or the week after. And then we're oh, we're on vacation. We're off for a week and a half or so. Like 10 days. But anyways, guys, let's continue on with this because I want it done before then. All right, so last I left off, I was getting these all through. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group these objects. All right. So I don't think. So I'm gonna, actually, if I look from the top view, I'll be able to see. Does that look even? I think all of these look about even except for this one. Why is this one shifted a bit? Let's get them all to be about even. And this, the one on the right too, looks like it needs to be shifted down a tiny bit. All right, how does that look? So those look good. That looks even. So that looks about even. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. So delete that and delete that, delete that, delete that and delete that. If I look from the top view, these look all about even. This one, they should be all the same length, 120. So maybe I do need to move this up back a little bit. All right. So uh, that looks pretty good, if you ask me. So I'm going to go, instead of clicking on it and holding down shift and individually clicking all of them, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it all because I know I'm going to group this whole object, right? So remember to group, you do control G. Or you can press the button up here. And look, it cut the hole in it. So that looks about right. right? So I'm trying to do the bottom here. So we got those little grates. That looks pretty good. Um, and say you group something and you want to undo it. Remember, you can always press these arrows. These arrows go back and forth from the last thing you did. Or if you have the high thing highlighted, you can press this button. This is the ungroup button. So control shift G. All right. Cool. So I'm going to leave that as grouped for now. Um, also, don't forget that you have these. I can attach them on if someone wants them. All right. And these are the shortcuts. So remember how I use the right click to orbit and then like the hold down the start the roller to pan. That's the same thing as these. All right. So orbit view and pan view. So shift right mouse is pan or control shift left button to pan or control left button to pan or uh, to orbit. Alrighty. So I got my base down. I think I know on this it has bigger spaces in between. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to copy it and make it for all those sides. I think that'll be fine, right? Oh, sorry, that's from that was a Fab Lab project. So I'm going to go ahead, Control C to copy, or this button to copy, deselect it, and then you can press this to paste or Control V to paste. So let's bring that over so they line up. That looks about even. So now what I'm going to do is rotate this. So with this button, I'm going to rotate on this axis, make it 90 degrees. All right, then I'm going to raise it up and move it over. So it's the wall. How's that look? Does that look good? Nope, it's a little bit over to the right. Just a tiny bit. But how does that look? Might need to be raised up a bit. What do you think? I think so. Or instead of raising that up, I can also raise that down. But for this, I'm just going to raise up a tiny bit. So it's at zero. So zero mark is what you want it at. Because if it was at five, it'd go up. But zero means it's at this base level on this work plane. All right, guys. That's all for today. Have a great Wednesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
today I'm gonna make the raspberry bars in a pan like this. It's almost like a raspberry granola bar. Okay, so I need one stick of butter, which is half a cup, but I need to have it melted. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about a minute or two. So maybe just a minute. Just to melt it. In this bowl, I'm going to put the powdered, uh, like the crust part of it. And I'm going to mix the butter with it. So I'm going to mix it with this and I'm going to put the crust in the bottom of the pan and cook the crust for 15 minutes. I'm not going to put all of this in there because I want to use some of it on top of the raspberry filling. So, okay, this should be done. Looks like I got a piece of the wrapper. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna pour this butter in. It's all heated up. And I'm gonna mix it in. This would be a good breakfast, maybe side side snack, or just a snack. Be nice with a cup of tea, or a cup of coffee, especially on these cold days. So this is the filling, this is the bottom, I mean, this is the crust. So I'm gonna put in the bottom of this pan. I've already sprayed the bottom of the pan, but I'm not gonna put it all in. Two thirds, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. But you could measure it out. You just want enough at the end to put it over the top. So I don't know if you like raspberries, but they're just another part of the berry family. If you like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Okay, so far so good. So, I'm going to cook this for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to put the topping on. So, I will check you when it's on the flip side. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to take them out of the oven, and this right here is called the trivet. This is what I'm going to put it on so it doesn't burn the countertop. They come in lots of colors and sizes. Smells good. So I'm gonna put it on here and then I'm going to fill it with raspberry jam, but you could use blueberry, you could use lemon, strawberry. Okay, I'm gonna spread it on, do it right when the crust is hot. Oops, 
sounds really good. And then I'm gonna take the rest of the crust in here, and I'm just gonna like do this. These aren't too bad, they're like 90 calories for one. As long as it's not a big one. Done, we cut them up into squares. So now it's gonna cook for another half an hour. Just want to be careful because it's still hot. Put it in for another half an hour and then it should be done. Okay, so this is what they look like when they're done. You would just cut them into squares when they cool off right now they're too hot. The fork method with isn't gonna work because it's, it's jam on the inside and it would come out. That's not gonna harden. But you can tell because it's like brown on the top, that's how you can tell it's done. Plus it's been about half an hour. So yeah, cool them all. After they cool, cut them into little squares and you can have them for a snack or um, even breakfast, a little breakfast bar. Anyway, something different, but um, it's it, it smells amazing. I wish you could smell it from virtually. Okay, bye guys. Hey Gators, welcome back to Language in Play. So this week we are working on our scene one of our animal play, okay? Remember, my scene one was Wally and Barry meet up at the park, Wally was fired from his job, Barry tries to help Wally find a new job, and Barry and Wally meet a mother and son. So I'm gonna skip ahead down to scene one, okay? Um, because we came up with our character list yesterday, and we talked about each character and having a short description of those characters. Again, you can add to your character list as you go through the different scenes. So if you come up with an idea for another character for your play, just add it to the character list, no problem, as long as you're using that character in the play, okay? Also, the only characters that you need to put on this character list are characters that actually have speaking lines in the play. So if you just reference a character and they don't actually talk, you don't need to put them on this list. All right, so we have scene one, time, mid-afternoon on a Saturday, place, in the park, and at rise. Remember, at rise is what the actors are doing when the lights turn on. Wally and Barry are sitting on a park bench talking. Now I'm gonna keep going back to my four bullet points for scene one, because this is what's going to drive the conversation. So Wally and Barry meet at the park. So the first part, I have to establish that they're meeting each other, they're talking to each other, right? So we have Wally says, Barry, what are we gonna do? Barry, don't worry, Wally, we'll figure something out. What I want you to notice that I did with just these first two lines, I used the character names in the line so that I can establish to the audience who is doing the talking. So Wally says, Barry, what are we gonna do? And that means Barry is gonna have to respond, don't worry, Wally. So we know who these characters are because they're using their names. You don't have to do that every single time you write a line, but when you first introduce characters, it's really important that you introduce them using their names, okay? One more thing I want you to notice for today, because again, you have until Friday to finish scene one, all right? I want you to notice how I used a lot of the information from my character profile, right? Wally was a mac and cheese cook, and we know from my character profile that Wally has his favorite food as mac and cheese. All right. I also want you to notice one of the characters. We have a mom 
and a baby. What was the one thing that was really important to Wally? Having a family of his own someday, right? Making sure he was protecting people. So again, I put some of these characteristics into the play on purpose. I want to make sure that I'm using information from my animal profile within the context of the play. So as you're writing, have fun, but make sure it's meaningful. All right? Can't wait to see what you come up with. Again, we're working on scene one until Friday. Good luck, gators. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to be doing a special request project. So I've had a couple of people ask me if we can draw a car. So today's the day. You're going to need a paper, a ruler, and a pencil, okay? We're just gonna start off by making a straight horizontal line somewhere in the middle of your paper, about three inches or more should be good. I think three inches is good. Okay, next, we're gonna make a half of a circle. You're gonna make a half of a circle here, half a circle over here. That's where the tires will be going. Next, I'm gonna look at the back of the car. We're just gonna make a little line here. It's not gonna be a horizontal line. It's gonna be a little bit at an angle, kind of a diagonal line there. Okay, then we're gonna work on making kind of like the bumper shape right about there. And we can go up and make another kind of a curved line right up there. And a short little vertical line right about there. How you doing so far? Just do the best you can. Next, I'm gonna use my ruler and make a little horizontal line here about an inch. And then the back window of the car is just going to be a curved line. Something like that I think is good. Curved line. Then we'll make a straighter horizontal line for the roof. Oops. Come to right about here. Okay. And then we're going to make this line come down. Add a little bit of an angle. Right about there I think is good. And then we'll make another curved line here. And cars come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. So you can make adjustments to what I'm showing you and make it look more like a sporty car or, I don't know, whatever you have in mind for your car. All right, so this is, I guess, kind of a sporty looking car but it's up to you how you do yours. So next, I'm just gonna show the side of the car. So I'm gonna make like the side windows. So that would be the front side. And then I'll make a little line here. We'll make the back window. And that will kind of curve maybe a little bit backwards like this. And you can kind of split that. Sometimes there's like a little smaller part of the window in the back. All right, I don't know. I'm gonna erase this line a little bit. It's a little too dark for me, too thick. Okay, there. Now let's see, maybe we'll do like a little side view. Mirror, something like that. We'll make a little line just to indicate that there's, there is a front windshield and maybe there's like a little light or something here and maybe a little backlight somewhere almost there okay so you can go ahead and do that the other half of the circle to complete that the look of the tire same thing in the front 
pushed together, completing that circle that we started up here. Okay, maybe there's like a little kind of a door handle to get in. Something like that. And you can keep on adding other things. Maybe make the hubcap. You can add a whole bunch of other details to this. You can color it in. You can make it have some interesting little hubcaps in there. So it's really up to you how you design your car. Um, I might bring this down a little bit more, this line. Just add a little detail. So go ahead, try to follow those steps and make the car look the way you would like it to look. Add some design features that you wish to have on your car. And I can't wait to see your drawings. Good luck with your car. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Virtual PE. I'm Miss Reedy. All right, so we're gonna get back at it again. We're gonna keep continuing on with our cardio kickboxing. All right, so let's get working and I'm assuming we'll work out two muscles. Hey guys, hope you had a great stretch yesterday. Okay, let's get back to our workouts, some more upper body workouts. Today we're going to work our deltoids, which are our shoulders, okay, and the front of our, our pectoral muscles, and our biceps, which is our front of our arms, okay? Show you the exercises, we'll give you a minute, get your stuff, and we'll get ready to go. Okay, first exercise for your deltoids. It's just a straight arm extension, right? Arm straight, just lift your arm, put parallel, parallel to the floor, okay? Next is just a basic bicep curl. Elbows are in, okay? Keep it tucked in, just curl your arms up, all right? Remember, it's 10 reps per set. Take your time. If you get tired, lessen your reps. I'll give you a minute. Get yourself. <laughs>
watching Enrichment TV, Gators. Remember, work hard, be nice, and we'll see you tomorrow.